Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So round one of the Super Scroll Arena is over. Uh, he also ran with Iceman as the basic, and we're going to take a look at the arenas and see how our friends did. Now, I did not go for the five-star Super Scroll uh, this time. I usually do not go for him round one, uh, but I do plan to go for him in round two. Uh, this round, I just went for the four-star um, Super Skrull, just so I would have him. I love to collect him. I have every four-star that you can get from crystals. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. All right, so we got the four-star, and I got ranked 43. You'll see what score I put up there. Uh, the five-star, I went for the 5,000 shards, got him. You'll see what I put up for that one. And uh, uh, apparently I went a little too high uh, and got the four-star Iceman. Uh, all of my four stars, uh, except for Apocalypse and Strife, are actually Max Sig. And I have a generic four-star and I have a four-star Mutant Awakening Gem. Uh, so um, we have an item use on right now, so I'm about to max them out uh, real quick. All right, um, the three star we don't really look at. Uh, you get the three star for completing the final milestone of any of the featured arenas. And since I uh, do that for all the featured arenas, I get him three times. All right, and yeah, I just put up like 30,000 there. All right, so actually let's go to the basic first. And you can see I put a little bit more over the milestones for this, but he went really low. People are not really feeling poor Iceman. All right, let's uh, take a look and see if we uh, recognize some names. Somebody that might have gotten uh, the four star. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see anyone that got him by mistake on the leaderboards. Uh, if you're going to, you know, um, get to the uh, top 200, uh, you probably were going for him. Uh, you can see I got uh, got him by accident, but I also didn't make the, um, the leaderboards. All right. I'm really curious as to what he actually went for. He might have gone for under the uh, milestones, which is uh, not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, but usually uh, it's the milestone at the very least. But I did put up um, 48,000 over the milestone, so uh, that could be why I got him by accident. Uh, and I remember I was doing something else and I wasn't paying attention and I did like an extra round, I think, and uh, hadn't noticed that I had already uh, completed all the milestones, but it's all good. Uh, don't mind. That'll be uh, more five-star shards. And right now I'm saving my five-star shards uh, for an opening. I'm going to uh, see if I can't start opening up the uh, science duel and maybe I can get myself a human torch. Uh, I believe that's really the last four star that I can say I really want. Would love to get a Namor, uh, but honestly at this point, uh, if I get a Namor, that's great, but I may not rank him up as a five star. But Human Torch, I would take up as a five star. Uh, he would be very useful to me. Uh, I have not done the abyss yet so he would be great there uh, and he's also good for uh, other content huh i'm looking at 195 okay let's move on all right that's the uh four star basic let's check out the four star featured and you can see i stopped at 15 million uh very leisure grind uh, and I tell people, always put up more than what I suggest, and I always do that myself. I go for overkill. No four-star is going, at this point in time, 
for that kind of score. And that's why I don't miss. I go for major overkill. All right, now we may see some names we recognize here, mainly because um, it's a new champion and they may want to pick him up just to play around with him. Uh, Native, congratulations. All right. Let's see. So we got somebody we recognized off the bat. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people were leisurely grinding for him. There goes that Lord Shadow fellow. Uh, let's see. And some of these names I do recognize because they're often on the uh, leaderboards. But don't necessarily um, talk to them personally. All right. Let's see. See if I see anybody else that I recognize. Now, Super Scroll doesn't have a whole lot of hype around him. Uh, he doesn't seem to be a great champion, a little underwhelming, uh, but I like his animations. And so uh, he was definitely going to go in my collection because I want to get all uh, the four stars. Got to gotta catch them all. So uh, definitely. Uh, we'll pick up every four star that comes. Um, I haven't, in fact, I'm trying to think the last time I, I haven't missed a four star ever since I started going for um, featured champions. I have not missed, uh, I think the first, yeah, the first one was Killmonger. That was the first uh, four-star featured that I went for, grabbed him, and I've gone for every other featured since, unless I already had them. Um, and I don't usually go for the dupes. And what I used to do, though, is I would go for, you know, the four-star in round one, and then I would see what the um, cutoff was for the five-star. And if it was a little too high and I wasn't comfortable uh, putting up that kind of a score with the roster that I had, then what I would do is just go for the four star, uh, get the milestones, uh, get the objectives, milestones for all the objectives, uh, you know, like arena wins or whatever. And I would just do that in the four star arena. And if I got the dupe, I got the dupe. Well, every time I did that, I got the dupe. Uh, so now, though, I go for the five star, and so I just go for the four star round one, and then the five star round two. All right, there is the score I put up. I put up 23 million for the uh, five star shards. 22 uh, to 23 should be okay. All right, let's see. Black Gamer, congratulations on your super scroll. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I should see some names here. Gray Wolf. Congratulations. I definitely should see some names I recognize here. Dark Side. Congratulations, man. I haven't spoke to you in a while. Let's see. And see, I, I recognize some of those names. Like, uh, I do recognize the name Duke Gecko. I also recognize Jenser M. Definitely recognize Jenser M. He's been playing for a while. Um, I definitely recognize uh, Bulletproof Monk. So congratulations, fellas. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually spoke to them uh, personally. All right. But I definitely, definitely recognize their names. All right. Let's see. Try and go a little bit quickly. Uh, Big Sexy, what it do? Congratulations, man. Yeah, I'll be I'll be going. Let me know if you're planning on going for uh, the uh, dupe and Big Blue with that huge roster. Congratulations, Big Blue. Uh, let me know what you put up. You probably did, and I and I haven't uh, checked. Uh, I've been out uh, playing uh, Warframe uh, on my sister uh, PS4 uh, with her, 
Uh, Infinity MJ, congratulations. And yeah, that Warframe be sucking up the uh, the time for sure. Okay. Uh, and see like Ace, Newt, recognize that name. Congratulations. Brutal DLX. Of course I recognize that name. Uh, congratulations, man. All right, Let's see. Months behind, congratulations. Grinding it out, months behind also has one of those monster rosters. All right, let's see. Hopefully I'll have an easier time of it. Uh, round two, Coat Hanger, congratulations. Coat Hanger be putting it down in that arena. You guys think I'm an arena grinder. Coat Hanger. She grinds that arena far more than I do. You know, I'll, I'll get the milestones. She'll just keep on going. She'll just be grabbing champs left and right. All right. All right. Getting down to the end here. It's so nice to be able to uh, say that everyone that we're seeing got the champion. So everyone deserves a congratulations here. Ben Riley just made the leaderboards. Congratulations, man. All right. And that is it. So in this arena, the top 300 gets the champion. So 100 people that we didn't see got this champion. So if you are one of those that did not make the leaderboards, but you did get the champion, leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up and what ranking, especially for round one. It helps when people are trying to plan and decide whether they're going to go for the champion round two. You know, if it's too high, the cutoff is too high for their roster, they may decide to just pass on this one. All right. So it, it actually does help out uh, a lot of people. So definitely leave uh, your comments, your ranking, your score, even if you missed, uh, leave a comment and let us know. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.